In the past 50 years, we have seen a dramatic acceleration in the movement of Earth's magnetic poles. This may be a sign of an upcoming pole reversal, which could have disastrous effects on human civilization for hundreds or thousands of years. It might sound crazy or fringe if you're hearing about this for the first time, but there's actually a long scientific record of frequent and significant changes to Earth's magnetic fields. Seismic mapping suggests Earth has a solid iron inner core and a liquid metal outer core. Convection currents in this liquid metal, combined with Earth's rotation, generate large-scale electric currents that generate a massive magnetic field. The molten metal in the Earth's outer core is a chaotic and turbulent system that can spontaneously reorganize or reverse itself. And computer simulations of the fluid dynamics show how pole reversals and excursions can occur spontaneously. Now right now we could just measure the magnetic fields and the pole locations with a compass or magnetometer, but measuring it in the past is a bit more complicated. When ferromagnetic materials like magnetite form, their high temperatures allow them to naturally align with the Earth's magnetic field at that time and place. For igneous rocks, as they cool below what is known as the Curie temperature, the magnetic alignment gets locked in place, creating a permanent record of the field's direction. Scientists then date these rocks with radiometric dating to form a record of our magnetic poles over millions of years. And what they find is that the direction of the magnetic fields is constantly flipping back and forth, randomly, with no statistical patterns, other than long calm periods called supercrons. There are many disturbances in between full reversals called excursions, when the magnetic field weakens and the poles shift to near the equator. Based on this data, if we make a basic statistical model, for reversals, we have a 0.5% chance of seeing one in the next 1,000 years. For an excursion, it is a significantly higher 2.2%, and the effects would be pretty much the same as in reversals. Now, it's possible that we are missing some of these reversals and excursions by not measuring all of the rocks across the entire planet, and there was actually a contested one around 2,500 years ago, and there's recordings of uh, seeing aurora borealis in lower latitudes, but let's just uh, be generous and say it's a 5% chance of seeing either reversal or an ex excursion in the next 1,000 years. So the odds are it won't happen anytime soon, and what we're seeing is basically just a wiggle. However, this recent acceleration definitely makes it much more likely. So now let's talk about what will happen when the poles actually eventually shift. First of all, you should know that magnetic fields seem to have no direct effect on humans. MRI machines produce some of our strongest magnetic fields at over seven Tesla, and they are harmless to humans. Of course, if you have a permanent magnet inside your body, or anywhere in the room, this can still be very dangerous. Some animals, like birds and salmon, apparently use Earth's magnetic field for navigation. But because the pole shift takes hundreds of years, they will have plenty of time to adapt. The main effect of a weakened and shifted magnetic field, for us, would be a reduced shielding from cosmic rays and solar wind. The atmosphere would still provide significant shielding, and while the magnetic field doesn't stop electromagnetic radiation, it could harm the ozone layer which could increase UV radiation. So we could expect slightly increased cancer rates. Now because of the atmosphere, the worst case radiation situation would still be much lower than Mars or the Moon, which have pretty manageable and overhyped radiation anyway. Unprotected solar storms can produce currents in large grid systems, and so we would need to harden our grids or produce smaller grids and basically accommodate somehow. Low Earth orbit satellites would also need to be hardened against cosmic rays and solar storms since they are also usually protected. Some other satellites already operate in the Van Allen belts, however, so they would actually get less radiation as the belts weaken with the weakening magnetic field. Now, looking back in time, as you can see for yourself in these charts, extinction events seem more aligned with asteroid impacts and climate changes than magnetism. There is one coincidence where the extinction of the Neanderthals coincides with one of these geomagnetic events, but I mean, just remember that humans survived this no problem. And primitive humans actually survived multiple excursions in the last 100,000 years, so this would definitely not wipe us out, but it would be a major disruption for civilization. So to conclude, this is definitely a serious topic that we should pay attention to, but we'll have plenty of time to react in any case. If you are still worried about the pole shift, you can definitely protect yourself by hardening your electronics. However, there's really a lot of other apocalypse scenarios which are equally likely and way, way more dangerous. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And with that being said, have a great day.